Welcome back to another video. I am Gold Raven, and this one is on the new Perma Rare cape that we got in the game and some events that had been launched in the game. Before I go any further with this video, I do need to say these events were temporary ones that were just 15 to 20, maybe 30 minutes long, some of them, where he would spawn some monsters and some chests. And these are events that he's just been running throughout the last few days. Some of the chests give live event coins and you can spend these in Yonger's Inn. If you just head right over to this woman right here and you're going to see this shop in there, you've got some stuff that you can get and there's some pretty cool stuff that you can get in here too. And you can only get these with live event coins. One of the events spawned in 13 cryo shreds and it got a little bit laggy for some of it, but it was really cool having all of these shreds spawning in. And I'm sure some of the people on the phones were just really bogging down, but it was a pretty cool event. And of course they all dropped stuff. Now, mind you, most of the stuff I got was just masks, weapon, masks, weapon, but you were battling the lag just as much as you were the bosses. The event continued when he got a bunch of the walls in place to make a kind of arena and inside of there he spawned a Tengu which got dropped in about 30 seconds. So in which place he replaced it with an Acroloth and it was a huge thing. And it didn't take us very long to drop that one either. And it didn't even end there. He then spawned a Flesh It boss and a, versus a Legion Shrade. It was actually a duel between the two of them and we were helping the Legion Shrade. So then once the Flesh It was dropped, then the Legion Shrade kind of collapsed all of a sudden, but then he became aggressive and we had to fight him. After which he spawned a golden chest and, well, in this particular case, it was a golden chest chest, but it dropped the armor. Now, I've already had the armor from previous events, and there's a bunch of other pieces of the Arctic's Direwolf set that you can get as well. The boots, the belt, gloves, and the set looks pretty darn cool. And unfortunately, I had missed the event he had had just a couple days ago but he informed me well he tweeted out that he will be doing another event where he will be dropping the boots so i'm not sure when that's going to be but it's going to be at some point where he'll be doing that so keep an eye out for that so it was a really fun event and there was a lot of people there everybody was just hanging out and having a really good time so that was really cool now as you guys know the blue skulls won the war when the meter was at 99%, I had posted on the AE Federation, which is my Discord server, link is in the description below, that we were at 99% and I really wanted to push this war, so I promoted a bunch of people to jump into the game and start grinding out the quests so we could finish off the war. So we jumped into the game and started grinding hard. And then finally, after turning in quest after quest after quest, the war was won. It was funny because I was actually turning in the quests when the war was won. So I wasn't sure if it was me that had turned in the final quest or if it was one of the hundreds of other people that had been doing it. Because I'm sure there was just as many people turning in the quest at that very moment as I was. So make sure you head over to the docks in Camp Gonna Get You, talk to one of the counselors, and grab that cape. It is a perma rare, which means it will never return again. It's a one time grab. Looks really cool. Definitely worth it to have that. So, what do you guys think of that cape? Let me know in the comments below if you like it. And that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.